Hello, YouTube. Uh, it is January the 22nd, and I finally got the internet back. Until this early afternoon, I had been without the internet since December 31st of 2011. I have moved into a cool, funky apartment in a very old character home. Uh, yeah, there was some cuts and scrapes in the walls from the previous tenant that I filled and uh, sanded down. I'm waiting for the landlord to basically get me some paint. It's a custom blend, so you can't just buy it off the rack kind of thing. But anyways, the main point of this video is that Shaw Cable Internet sucks. The company does not believe in providing true customer service to their customers. So I moved out from my previous place on December 31st. So uh, this is my exercise room slash bicycle storage room. Uh, so I had been with Shaw Cable. So I moved on the 31st. I made an appointment with Shaw Cable. Uh, they could come the following Thursday. The 31st was a Saturday. The following Thursday, they could come and do an install at my new address. Um, a lot of the previous tenants had had Shaw Cable, there's cables running all through this apartment and outside, running to other buildings, etc. So, the following Thursday, the technician came to do an install. And basically, he went outside and fiddled with cables out there. Um, I'm assuming to open up the line. He came inside, and uh, here is the modem and hooked it up to the modem, hooked the line up to the modem, and apparently it wasn't flashing the correct lights, so he called his technical support. And of course, he gets through right away when he calls technical support, which is a good thing in this case. Um, they said that the serial number on that modem hadn't been changed to this new address and that it would happen in the next 30 minutes. So he told me, he said, in 30 minutes, unplug it, and it'll reset, and it'll start working. Then he left. So essentially he left before the connection was working. So after that 30 minutes, I basically reset it. It still didn't work. After an hour, I reset it. It still didn't work. And then I proceeded to spend most of the evening on the phone with Shaw Cable. I had to completely alter my plans for the evening. I spent some time on hold and then they offer what's called a callback service. So anytime within the next two hours, they will call you back so you don't have to wait on hold. So essentially, I could not go out. I had to wait here for the phone call. And I got the phone call from someone from tech support and spent some time on the phone with them, going through all the steps, running with, looking where the cables went. Did the cables go outside? Is it hooked up to the right place? Yes, everything was hooked up correctly. And he said, well, there's no reason that it shouldn't work. So his only conclusion was that the technician had basically opened up the signal to the wrong line outside. So it wasn't actually coming into my unit, it was going into another unit. So I said, so he made a mistake, so he's coming tomorrow to correct his mistake the very next day. And they said, uh, no, it'll be seven days before someone can come and fix a previous technician's mistake. I said that was unacceptable and that the only thing I would accept from them was that the technician come the very next day to correct his mistake. They told me they couldn't do that. They offered me two free months of internet. I said the only thing I was interested in is to have my internet working. It was supposed to be working that same day, but to be working the next day. And since they said they couldn't do that, I canceled my account. And. I live in a small, isolated city in the northwestern part of Ontario, Canada. We don't have a lot of internet service providers here. So the next biggest internet service provider I called to set up an appointment for an install. And lo and behold, it was two and a half weeks before they could come and do a new customer install. So basically, they came today, this morning, and again, because this is an old house and lots of weird stuff with how electrical stuff, how things are connected, it took them a few hours to get my connection working, but finally got it working. I finally have the internet. It's actually not as high speed as the Shaw connection I had. Shaw does offer a multitude of uh, speeds 
that uh, you can upgrade to and I had one of the upgraded packages so it was quite a bit faster but I mean they had to be punished for what they did to me and the only way I could truly punish them was by no longer giving them money and the other way I can punish them is by making this video on YouTube I have three channels that I have revenue sharing on so I can upload this video encouraging people to cancel their accounts with Shaw Cable to not sign up with Shaw Cable and make some money off that video. So that's what I'm going to do. After this is done, it's going up on YouTube and I encourage you to, if you are currently doing business with Shaw Cable and haven't had any issues, their customer service sucks. You're not going to want to deal with their customer service people. So I encourage you to cancel your account and if you're looking for a new ISP, do not use Shaw Cable. They do not believe in true customer service. That's all I got to say about that.